Hey guys, today I am back with the new tutorial of uh, ANSYS um, and uh, I am today uh, will uh, demonstrate you the heat flow or uh, heat flux through the fins of uh, the bike engine as uh, the fins uh, always uh, you wonder that uh, on the um, external of the bike engine's uh, cylinder there are like these fins so uh, these fins are basically heat exchangers that uh, exchange the internal heat of the engine into the out uh, outer atmospheric sink so uh, first of all uh, the main uh, phenomena behind uh, the all of this uh, process is convection so first of all uh, we can uh, learn how what is convection so basically convection is a transfer of heat due to the bulk environment of molecule uh, bulk movement of molecules within the fluid and uh, including the molten rock etc and basically uh, due to this picture you can see that uh, the red is high temperature and the blue is lower temperature and the uh, temperature just decreases into the atmosphere okay this is basically convection uh, it uh, needs some medium like uh, ga gas or fluid so that uh, it could be uh, it could decrease its internal temperature into the atmosphere so first of all uh, when after opening opening the ANSYS workbench first of all uh, you just have to uh, double click on the thermal thermal transient okay uh, as you know that uh, there is a steady state uh, thermal convection so double click on steady state thermal now uh, as we are uh, making this video for educational purposes so we will not change any engineering data or material we will use static structural uh, for this and the importing geometry right click and import geometry heat sink now I will uh, go to the mechanical and see mechanical and add it. Now, ANSYS mechanical is now opened, it is, uh, it is basically attaching the geometry with it. So, uh, here is our heat sink. Uh, inside this, this is basically the cylinder area and uh, it has the maximum temperature from inside. So, first of all, mesh, uh, I will go with the default meshing so that uh, um, we can just change the meshing and select body here and control A, select and we can just change the automatic mesh here okay now just generate mesh it will take some time as we have a lot of cases so here is a basically the uh, default mesh and we can also add mesh refinement uh, but it will take some time so first of all we have to add the internal temperature uh, so for that uh, click on the face selection and select all internal faces uh, which has the maximum temperature so as this uh, these uh, uh, fins are belonging to 125 cc engine and it has basically uh, 285 degrees of uh, temperature from inside and from outside uh, we will only use now we will add convection okay and we will add we will select uh, control and click on A so that it could be selected and just we will exclude the internal faces from it uh, because we do not want uh, we want to con uh, check the convection from here and always click control in deselecting these faces so, so we have deselected all these faces and click apply. Okay. 
now uh, we will be uh, applying the uh, here we will be applying the uh, import uh, temperature dependent because uh, we want to check the uh, we want to check the heat transfer heat flux for that so there are some options like stagnant air and horizontal cylinder and uh, we will use stagnant air simplified case okay we there are many uh, many options here and everyone every option has its own meaning so we will use simplified case click ok now uh, we will be using ambient temperature which is basically the outside temperature let it be 22 degrees okay now uh, we will be getting the results in results we will be getting the simple temperature and the heat flux we can, you can also add directional heat flux but i will use total heat flux like this okay now uh, we will be uh, going to run this study solve click on solve it will take some time and uh, afterwards it will give us uh, answers so here uh, the uh, heat flux has been now counted as you know that uh, as you can see from inside it's uh, red and uh, yes and uh, from inside there is a lot of temperature which is 285 degrees as uh, given and uh, the minimum is basically 276 so the heat convection is now uh, going on further and uh, you can see you can also uh, sim uh, simulate it animate it for like this okay and uh, for total heat uh, flux you can see here the total heat flux like this okay thank you subscribe my channel and share thank you